And I want to share this with you, and I want to start this hour talking a little bit about the the passionate monologue I heard, the wonderful, um, eloquent articulation of my friend Mark Davis in Dallas Fort Worth. He is livid. I, I haven't heard him that get that worked up in a long time. Four NHL players kneeled last night during the national anthem. It's the Dallas Stars playing the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, uh, Dallas Stars players, I don't even know, Di- Tyler Sagoon, Jason Dickinson, two Vegas players, Ryan Reeves and Robin Lehner, all took a knee during the Star Spangled Banner. And Mark's reaction as a passionate Dallas Cowboys fan is if he sees one single Dallas Cowboy take a knee, he's out. That's it. Click, click, off goes the game. And, you know, that, that I've been giving this a lot of thought because in my world right now, if four players in the NHL want to disrespect the United States of America, I, I, I really, really instinctively react with, we got bigger fish to fry. In the, in the scheme of things in 2020, a sporting event is the least of my worries. And you know what I'm guilty of when I have that reaction? Complacency. And that's what the other side wants. Mark is right to be passionate and to be angry. Mark is right to promise if a if Jerry Jones lets one Dallas Cowboy take a knee, that's it. And we ought to be willing to stand up. There are people who are fighting back in this crazy tumultuous year. Kevin Williamson over the New York Post wrote a great article about the defamation lawsuits that the Covington Catholic student Nick Sandman has apparently victoriously achieved over media outlets like CNN and the Washington Post. Both of those news outlets settled with this kid. This is the kid, as you know, was wrongly accused of being the instigator, along with the other Covington Catholic kids who were in Washington for a pro-life rally. Their sin was they had MAGA hats on. They had red Make America Great Again hats. That's it. The mob came for them. And Sandman filed a $250 million lawsuit against the Washington Post for libel. Well, they settled. Who knows what they gave him? If they gave him a dollar, it's a win because they settled. CNN settled. And incidentally, I don't think they gave him a dollar. I think Nick, Nicholas Sandman got a pretty good amount of money. Who knows? I don't know. We may never know. But Sandman is fighting. He got first-rate legal representation, as Kevin Williamson put it, because it was a high-profile case. Sandman is also suing Twitter, which is a whole different issue. He's suing, I mean, Joy Reid of MSNBC is being sued for the smearing of California immigration activist Rosalind La Liberté, falsely putting a racist, falsely putting racist words in her mouth, with what can only be described as a reckless disregard for the truth at best. And Kevin Williamson writes, even among those who are defamed. Not very many are willing to put themselves through the ordeal of litigation and the financial risks associated with it. Here is an opportunity, he says, for lawyers and people who care about accountability to do some good. He believes that there needs to be a consortium of lawyers who are willing to fight on behalf of the Nicholas Sandmans of the, of the world. The only way to get the Washington Posts or the CNNs of the world to stop the abuse is to make it cost them. And that's, it's a great article. Kevin Williamson says, what the world needs now is love, sweet love, and a hell of a lot more defamation lawsuits. And I believe that's Mark, Mark, my friend Mark Davis's point about the national anthem. We need to stand up. Enough already. We ought to have, we need to have the conversation about race relations, about black lives. George Floyd's death, police reform. Of course, we're. I think we're in agreement for, over that. But to watch 
multimillionaires desecrate the United States of America by kneeling purposefully during the Star Spangled Banner, it ought to be a bridge too far. And while my initial reaction to Mark's passionate, um, angry response to these four NL NHL players last night was to, um, my reaction was, you know, my gosh, I haven't watched a sporting event. I don't care. I have no interest, frankly, in watching a baseball game with nobody in the stands. I I'm sorry. I can't. I don't care. I hear people, frankly, there are people even that I that I know that just love going on and on about baseball teams and and I've been a sports fan. My wife and I were season ticket holders for the Dallas Cowboys in their new stadium. I love sports. I used to be a part of sports. I was a sports official in another life. I used to umpire college baseball and referee basketball. Um, I, I love I love sports. I could care less. Right. I just have no interest. I, I believe we got to fight so hard for this election, but it's important to know that we ought to stand up for the flag for the country and everything that this great nation represents.